Today we are going to be adjusting the valves on a 2.4 liter Mitsubishi motor. Um, first thing you want to do is take the valve cover off, timing belt cover. Once you've gotten all of that off, you're going to put the valve cover back on to the head of the motor here. To make this easier, I'm just going to take the valve cover off. Just going to want to set it on. Now that you got it on, you're going to want to line your timing marks up with your um, cam pulley. There's a little notch right here that lines up with the valve cover. On the bottom, on the crankshaft, you want to line the notch up with the mark on the timing cover. It is just a T. It's really hard to show, but I've got this all lined up. So now that we've got it all, all set to top dead center, I'm going to take the valve cover back off. So now that I got the valve cover back off, another way you can check to make sure you're on top dead center is all of the valves on cylinder one should have some play in them. Cylinder two intake should also have some play and cylinder three exhaust should have play. Cylinder four should have no play and cylinder three intake should have no play. Uh, just another way of checking to make sure you're on top dead center. I've drawn up this diagram here to show you um, when it's on top dead center, um, you're gonna wanna adjust the intake and exhaust valves. You're gonna wanna adjust cylinder two intake valve and cylinder three exhaust valve are the valves you're gonna be adjusting when it's on top dead center. When it's 360 degrees out, you're actually gonna adjust the exhaust on cylinder two, um, intake on cylinder three, and you're also going to adjust both exhaust and intake on cylinder four. Um, all adjustments for the intake are two millimeter 0.2 millimeter and the exhaust or 0.3 millimeter. So now you're just going to get a 10 millimeter wrench. I'm going to loosen the lock nut. You're going to get your um, 0.3 millimeter filler gauge. I'm going to switch filler gauges, one that's angled, so hold on one sec. Filler gauge like this is going to be more helpful with the angle. So all you're going to do is back it out. Slide your filler gauge in. And tighten it back down to where the filler gauge still moves. And you're going to hold it there and Tighten the lock nut. You might have to do this a few times to get the adjustment right. That one still moves around, but it's pretty tight, so that one is good. Now that I've adjusted both exhaust valves, we're going to move to the intake. Like I said, these are 0.2 on this side, so we need to move our filler gauge to 0.2 and then adjust the exhaust valves on cylinder one. I can adjust the intake side. It's a little more crowned. Loosen your lock nuts. And then the intake side is 0.2 millimeters. Filler gauge in there.
little bit of drag, go ahead and tighten the lock nut back up. Same thing on the other side. We've already done this step, but now you'll go down to your crank pulley, put a wrench on it and rotate it 360 degrees. At this point, cylinder two exhaust should be loose. All the four should be loose. Like so. And cylinder three intake should be loose. And then you're just gonna adjust those like you did the first ones. Now that you've gone through and adjusted all those valves, you'll be good to put it all back together. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching, I appreciate it.